welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos today I'm going to try a product for the first time and I'm talking about this Lancome Paris long wear eyeshadow base from Lancome Paris and this is in color nude 03 now I heard a good reviews about this we can say eyeshadow base or like a primer and it's supposed to be long wear I have very oily eyelids especially now when it's summer and when it's hot outside my face gets very oily and sweaty and especially my eyelids so it's for me almost impossible to have an eyeshadow on for whole day at least eight nine hours now I read a lot a lot of good stuff about this one and I wanted to try it myself now many people compare this to max paint pot and i hope really it's not the same thing because paint pot it's very good for me but not without the primer i have to have an eyeshadow primer before i take this pro long wear paint pot over uh, just to even out my eyelids and make all of these strange colors on my eyelids disappear now this alone on my eyelid don't work to, my eyeshadow start to crease and um, disappears after only maybe two three hours so i have always have to have an eyeshadow primer under this so i hope it's not the same thing with this one i read it's supposed to be better so let's just see it had different colors and i was curious to try this one nude it's a very cute packaging, very similar to the paint pot. Uh, also glass packaging. The colors are different. This is more pinky one and this is more yellow beige. Or not yellow, beige. But this is more pink. And I'm going to take that all over my eyelids. And see, it looks like this. very creamy it feels more creamy than the pink pot you can't really see it but uh, they say you have to take off the first layer and that's what I'm trying to do now it feels very very creamy okay now I don't have any foundation and anything on my face because I want to do another video too today and I'm going to do, try to put my foundation with this brown sponge, beauty sponge and that video is going to come up two or three days after this one so if you haven't subs subscribed to my channel please do that so you don't miss that video and let's zoom you in. I'm sorry for the light. I'm trying to have more daylight on, in my videos because I think it looks beautiful. I hope it looks okay when you watch this video too. Let's zoom you in. Today I'm also going to use this Revolution Makeup Palette, Professional Eyeshadow Palette in Neutrals versus Neutrals. I had a chance to play a little bit with this palette and I think it's beautiful. I'm also going to use this BH Cosmetics travel eyeshadow brushes that I got in my package. I bought a couple of things from BH Cosmetics and I got this for free. So I want to try these two. So let's start. I will use my fingers to apply this. Can you see? It's not as thick as this paint pot from MAC but it feels good on my eyelids looks very nice not as dry as the paint pot 
and it's lightweight. I feel like I don't have anything on my eyelids. I think the packaging is very cute with this beautiful rose. Roses are my favorite flowers. And I'm going to use uh, this uh, little brush and I think I'm going to use uh, this shade to set to set this um, primer. Now I'm going to use this color with this brush and as my this transition shade. to take same brush and this color also into my crease. Then I'm going to take uh, this darker color with a smaller brush. brush again and blend the edges and then I'm going to take this color with my fingers and apply I like to apply this kind of shimmery colors with my finger then I'm going to take the smallest brush here and take uh, this color brush and this color that we had in our crease so now I'm going to finish my makeup off camera and I'll be back I'll just say before I go that now is 19 past 12 when I applied this makeup see you soon so just finished my makeup look, uh, finished filming my uh, video about trying blending my foundation and cut toe with uh, this beauty sponge or brown beauty sponge and um, I had my eyeshadow for, I don't remember what time it was but let's see, maybe it 12.55 so it's almost have been like half an hour or something and let's zoom you in so you can see my eyeshadow it looks very nice and very beautiful no creases it only has been like half an hour half an hour and it looks very nice I don't see any creases and anything the eyeshadows were so easy to blend. It, it worked better with this one than it worked with my paint pot. So I think I love this more. The paint pot, pot is a little bit dry. Too dry maybe sometimes when I'm putting matte eyeshadows on. But I do like to use it, this and I will of course continue using my paint pot. Maybe especially when it's colder outside. But I've caught, like I said in the beginning of this video, I can't use paint pot by itself. I have to have a primer under it on my eyelids before I use this because this won't make my eyeshadow stay. So that's why I'm kind of curious to try uh, this long wearing eyeshadow base from uh, Lacombe. So far so good. I really really hope this will work because I need a primer that will work on my oily eyelids during the summer now just to <laughs> tell you what will come up in my future videos I also bought another primer eyeshadow primer from Pure that I will try 
uh, some other time so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that now so you don't miss that video uh, and I thank you everyone that already subscribed to my channel that watching my videos it means so much to me your support means a lot I will do check-ins during the day and uh, see you soon welcome back now it's 17.46 and I had eyeshadows on for maybe six or se seven hours around seven hours and let's zoom in to check out how it looks if you look closer there is a little bit of creasing here and here uh, the colors are there they didn't fade much they still look beautiful and nice of course they are kind of um, creasing but um, I still like it Hi, I still like it let's do the last again it's 23.06 6 past 11 o'clock at night and let's zoom you in now as you can see my eyelids are very oily and the shadow has creased a lot so it's almost no shadow at my eyelids except a little bit in the crease there is the shadow left but otherwise it really doesn't look good my hair is a mess so I keep it in place with my cute ears I love them and thank you so much for all of your comments about my ears uh, and well I do if I have to give my full thought about this product I do like it it did last eight hours nine so I will definitely try it again and I will also try it with a primer under I want my primer to last at least 10 hours because that's how long I wear my makeup during the day 10 11 hours I'm going to try this with a primer and uh, see if that works better for me but I would definitely give it uh, this eyeshadow base couple of more chances because like I saw in other videos people said that it didn't work first or second time but after they like took off this first layer then it was better so we will definitely try that because this one is a little bit expensive let me see how much I paid for it it says on the website that this is like eyeshadow and it stays on the eyelids for the whole day and it's also waterproof I can't really agree with that and this is the reason I don't think it's waterproof and of course you can uh, use it alone or as a primer and it costs 295 Swedish crowns 34 dollars so 295 Swedish crowns and it's 34 dollars and for me I can't really say it's waterproof but I will definitely try it again I will try it alone without the uh, eyeshadow too uh, and see if that works better but this almost was the same results as a uh, paint pot uh, the only difference is that paint pot didn't give me this long eyeshadow wear as this one this one did made my eyeshadow stay maybe one or two hours longer we'll see I don't know I don't know I'm kind of confused it's a little bit too expensive to be used only as eyeshadow uh, I really hope that this would be waterproof eyeshadow base that I can use as a primer. Didn't really turn out to be like that for me right now, but I will definitely give it more chances. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please sus subscribe if you already haven't. And see you soon in my next video. Bye!